Good morning. It's Thursday, Kevin's birthday, and he was supposed to be home today. Um, and then stuff at work came up and he's hoping to hopefully be home around lunch, but we'll see. Um, he's working like an hour and a half away, an hour away. So I'm really not sure, but let's give this a try because I have no backup this time. I'm officially out of my coffee creamer that, um, my go-to coffee creamer, my gross one. Well, my delicious one that has gross things in it from the grocery store. So let's hope that this coconut one, the second coconut one I made is good. It kind of just tastes like the first one that I made, the vanilla one, but like a slightly different taste, but it kind of still just tastes like vanilla. But there's like an aftertaste of like, is, did I just like a coconut kind of feeling? So at least it's drinkable. Probably not my favorite. I probably won't make this one again, but I'll go through this container happily. It is good. I will drink this. Is it one that I think you guys should make? No. Today, our plan is to cook our ham. And that's kind of all I have on my list for today. I did most of everything that I wanted to do yesterday, like stuff that I wanted to get done today. I went ahead and did it yesterday, so I didn't have to do it today. All right, for lunch, I made some of that. I used some of that shredded chicken. I had a bell pepper that was about to go bad in the fridge, so I went ahead and I diced that up and I'm going to make a breakfast scramble here after lunch. Um, but I made myself and Luca a cheese and chicken quesadilla and then I like pan sauteed some of the bell pepper because we found out the other night that he loves bell pepper. So I added my bell pepper into my um, quesadilla and then I put his on the side so he can pick it up and eat it. I've been craving Taco Bell. That, <clears throat> that was better than Taco Bell. I think between, so I seasoned that chicken with Kinder seasoning before I cooked it in the oven the other day and shredded it. I think I did Kinder's and pepper. That Kinder seasoning, man, so good. Luca has eaten all of his bell peppers. He's a little unsure about his quesadilla, but he's trying it. So we've been looking at getting a Connex box and I'm not sure if I left that in previous vlogs or if I cut it out because things kept falling through. Last weekend we were supposed to go look at one and then a guy couldn't get his people to the yard to have us look at it. So then that got called off. Then we were supposed to look, or Kevin was supposed to look at it another day and then something happened. I just got a text from Kevin that the Connex box is actually being delivered today. So now we have one. We're going to use it as, oh, we're gonna use it as like a shed in storage because our house doesn't have a lot of storage on the inside. Um, we don't have a lot of closets. We have like clothes closets, but like we don't have random closets and other stuff. And since we don't have a garage, we don't have place to put like all of my decorations that are in the garage at the rental. So um, we're getting Connex delivered today and Kevin's going to Kevin's going to like put a solar fan in it and everything and then use that for storage. So he said that he's about to head home now. Um, I also ordered a Ninja blender. I want to start making Luca's little snack pouches, not snack pouches, but pouches that he eats every once in a while. He was eating them daily for a while um, for lunches and stuff, but I've been trying to like give him more food and use those more as like a snack and when we're on the go and like stuff like that. So um, I want to start making those for him because they're very expensive in store 
And I also feel like as of right now, he's really not interested in drinking water and um, like having any other kind of milk other than breast milk. So I want to up his hydration. And I think that if I start making him like smoothies, essentially, that will help. So we may start incorporating those into breakfast maybe or his lunches so i ordered the reusable pouches and a blender and that comes today all right i just made kevin's four breakfasts for next week i've got some for me for next week i'm going to probably be able to make two um bagels out of this filling and then i made myself a burrito because i had one flour tortilla left after i made us lunch it's so confusing when USPS drops off our Amazon packages because they'll say that they left them. I hope he sees the package. I can see it. Um, yeah, he's walking to get it. Uh, they say that they left it by our front porch slash our front door, but it's by the road. So I'm like, do they not have an option for by the road? Or like, I left it by your mailbox? I guess it's either like in your mailbox or on your front porch. It's the only two options they have. But because it's USPS also, they don't take photos, so you don't actually, like, I was like, oh, dang, did they actually bring it up here? No, they did not. Anyhow, Luke is down for a second nap. Kevin's coming down the driveway now. He just did a quick little grocery shop because I did a really, really quick meal plan for next week. Um, it was a lot of stuff we already had here at the house. I literally had to pick up four things. And one of the things was just something that we were running low on. It's not even something that I need for next week. So um, that's already done for this weekend. Uh, so now um, we need to make the estate sale signs for tomorrow. And I think there's something else on my list. I am going to cook the ham tonight with a side. I think I'm going to make asparagus with it. That's my plan guess we're just waiting on the people to bring the Connex box and then oh my god and then that's it Kevin just hit our little mud pile and it just like flung mud up probably like two and a half feet in the air <laughs> y'all I didn't get a turtle but I got an army of tadpoles. Oh my goodness. There's so many of them. I just told Kevin, um, not a minute ago, but earlier today I saw something like moving, like hopping or flopping in here. And I was like, did, a, did we get a fish in here? Um, but he was like, no, it's a frog, but holy moly. Yeah. here watching it be delivered. Rainbow. Ham is in the oven. Here it comes. I was about to say hopefully he can make it through our gates but yeah he did. I don't know what I was expecting but I, I was expecting a tow truck not a semi truck. What is that? Wow. Happy birthday to me. So the Connex box has been dropped and um, I think the guy's getting ready to leave. Our ham has about 18-ish minutes left. It came with a brown sugar glaze to like a packet to make to 
use on it the last 10 minutes. And I was like, oh, that sounds delicious. Like, I'll come in and I'll make that. I asked Kevin, like, hey, do you want me to make it? I'll just put it on the outside, even though it says, like, put it all over. Anyhow, um, I made it and it smells horrible. It smells like a candle. Like, it doesn't smell like brown sugar at all. It doesn't smell sweet. It smells like, I don't even know, like a weird fall candle that's out of date. So... I'm not going to do that. Um, we made a ham, I think this time last year, and it didn't come with the glaze packet at all, and it was perfectly fine. So I'm just going to not glaze it. So <laughs> hopefully it'll be okie dokie. Also, I don't know if you'll still be able to see it, but like you can see it came in like these weird like granules, like pellets. So... Yeah, it just, it smells absolutely horrible. So. Ham is out of the oven. Air fryer is heating up because we got some air fried asparagus. Or air fryer asparagus. So we're going to try that out tonight. Kevin informed me that the Connex box has a hole in the, like, roof of it. And, um... I guess the guy who sold it to him did, didn't realize that. So Kevin's going out to take some photos to send to him and then he's gonna send someone else out to fix it. But, um, dang, I wonder how long it's gonna take for them to bring someone out to fix it. Anyhow, so we're gonna have dinner here shortly. How much it was with tow? couple hours into the state sale. A lot of stuff has been bought. Well, kind of a lot. Though it doesn't look like a dent has been made. Having lunch in between the... People are coming in like waves. So I'm having lunch in between the people coming in waves. Luke has already taken his morning nap here. He's having lunch really quick. And then I'll take him from Kevin. Kevin can have lunch but clearing some stuff out. All right, it is now 4.13 and we um, pulled the sign at like 3.45 from the front yard, put a sign on the front door that said, we'll be back tomorrow from 10 to four. And then as we were leaving the road, so the road that we rented on is like a cut through road. So like we were getting a lot of traffic, probably just people who were passing down the road, not even realizing that there was an estate sale. But, um, there's two businesses that are at the end of the front of our road and Kevin put signs there in the like easement area. So not even like in their area. And I guess they pulled our signs. So they probably pulled them shortly after Kevin put them out this morning. And then, um... But like we didn't know until we just left now and saw that there was no signs. I was like, where are our signs? Kevin's like, well, they were there. So um, anyhow, we only have signs on one side of the road probably now. Like one entryway to the cut through. So we are, we are grabbing sushi now for Kevin's late birthday dinner from our favorite sushi place that's here by our rental that we'll probably not be able to come to very often anymore since we're not gonna be in the city anymore. So we're grabbing it and we are going to head back to the house. Luca did really well today. He took both of his naps, cried a little bit because he doesn't like his little pack and play, but took both of his naps. We got a decent amount of stuff sold and um, I'm interested to see how much money we made so far. Um, so we'll see. It was a lot of small stuff that we sold, but um, also the stuff at the house I just was pricing to like, please take it. So I don't think it's gonna be that much, but who knows. Day two of the estate sale. We're grabbing some drinks real quick. And then we're about to head to the other city, hoping that today is going to be a busier day. Sorry, 
which I think it will be because it's Saturday. Not a lot of people are stuck at work. All right, end of day two. The rooms are pretty bare. Most of all of our big furniture sold, our bedroom set sold, our table and chair sold, the hutch just sold. Um, I'm trying to think what else was big that sold. So anyhow, we're wrapping it up today. Went ahead and, I'm gonna set you guys down for a second. Went ahead and cut it an hour short because no one else is showing up. So we just shut down and we could just woke up from his second nap um, Kevin is just cleaning up outside and then we had a guy who said that he buys like leftover estate sales so our plan is to um, call him tomorrow and come back tomorrow kind of package all this stuff up in boxes and see if he's interested in purchasing what's left as like a lot and then um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be it. Then we'll just have a small little load of stuff to move next Sunday to the new house. And then we'll be officially done with the rental. All right, we are back at our house now. And Kevin is kind of like loading stuff up for tomorrow. Stuff that we have to take to the rental. Um, just like uh, recyclables and trash. Because Kevin ordered his new driver's license to be sent to this house. Um, with this new address and it got lost so um we can't take our trash to the dump without being able to prove that we're residents in this city so um yeah we're just taking our trash to our rental right now and dropping it off there when we go so he's loading that up for tomorrow and I've got the pizza crust in the oven. And for some reason, today's pizza crust, I was able to make it pretty absolutely huge, which is exciting. Um, so it's much bigger than the last pizza I made. So I think it's gonna be better, more filling. So it's cooking right now. It's got a big bubble in it. And then we are going to uh, figure out something for Luke Eddie. He may have some pizza. Um, we're just going to hang out and then put Luca to bed, count our money to see how much we made from today. And yeah. to you I've just it's been very incomplete vlogs um so I thought I would hop on here and just kind of update y'all so I'm hoping that I'm going to let me make sure this isn't Kevin likes to get in my chair and turn the tilt lock off and then I lean back and it scares the shit out of me so anyhow I wanted to hop on here and just be like hey um little update so I'm not even sure what I have fully updated you guys on. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get back to more of a vlog schedule now that the estate sale is over. And we should just be now way more chill. We have one more trip to the rental that we have to do. Um, we moved, I'm not even sure if I filmed this, we moved all of the stuff from the inside the house. I think I filmed the inside the house, but I didn't film the garage. 
We moved all the stuff from the inside of the house, everything that was left over from the estate sale, we boxed it up. We had a guy who contacted, not contacted us, but he came to the estate sale to shop and then he was like, I buy estate sale leftovers and we were like, cool. So then after the estate sale was over, we um, took photos of everything, sent it to him and then boxed it up and put it in the garage. And we were hoping that he was going to purchase like the lot of the leftovers and he was like, I did not realize how much you guys had left over and how little I have in my storage unit. So I won't be able to, to buy it. And I was like, damn. So as you guys saw earlier this week, um, Kevin got a Connex and we plan to just move everything in the garage here. I think we have like maybe three boxes that are for the inside of the house just like straggler things that we found um that needed to be moved to the new house and then we have a pile of boxes from leftover from the estate sale uh so after the estate sale was over we had the out of our like big ticket items the peacock chair was still available which i was shocked that it didn't sell for the price that I had it so um I'm going to see if Alicia's friend wants it for her wedding and if she doesn't want it then I'm going to raise the price on it and then maybe relist it here in the, this new city and see if anyone's interested in it here um and we had the treadmill left over so we um had mentioned to my dad and my uncle you know what was left over from the estate sale and they're putting together a gym so they're gonna buy the treadmill from us next sunday which is amazing so that is our plan for next sunday um i'm hoping that next weekend is gonna go okay luca has his checkup for his ears so he had a double ear infection this past week or the past week and a half and he's been on antibiotics and I guess after they come off the antibiotics they want to recheck them to make sure that they worked because I've seen a lot of people in my mom's group saying that their kids have been getting ear infections they do the antibiotics and the antibiotics does not wipe the ear infection out Lucas seems to be happier and acting like it's not bothering him anymore but Still gonna go get them checked, but because he was sick at his one year um, checkup, which is where we found he had the double ear infection, he didn't get his shots. So he'll be getting his shots uh, Friday now. And I've heard that the one year shots are very, very hard on them. So I hate that. Um, so yeah. Um, but other than that, I have just been cooking every day. Um, I've tried to time lapse and record the new recipes that I've cooked, but I don't think I've actually cooked any new recipes that I didn't go over with in this vlog. Um, I just made Kevin keto bread, so once he eats it, I'll let you guys know what he thinks of it. Um... But today is Monday and I have not stopped since about 7.30 this morning with cleaning. I got all the floors mopped, the bathrooms are clean, the tubs, the showers, um, all the carpets been vacuumed, the kitchen's now picked up and clean. I'm on my third load of laundry. So, we've just been going. Um, so yeah, that is what I have been up to. I'm hoping to slow back down in life soon and I'm very excited about that so yeah tonight for dinner I did our favorite meatballs which are just some frozen ones um, in primal kitchens pizza sauce which is our favorite red sauce sprinkled some mozzarella over it I'm going to make Kevin, when he gets home tonight, a meatball sandwich with his bread. And then this week, I have King's Hawaiian for myself. Um, I'm hoping that now that we're getting settled, I can start getting back into making our own bread because I do miss it. It was delicious.
started eating mine. <laughs> Forgot to take a little video, but this is my sub. Luca is having this. His apples are cooling down. He's just having some meatballs. So I just heated up the cinnamon, the brown sugar. Now I'm gonna add my vanilla extract to the um, milk. While it's still a little warm and I'm just letting it come back down to room temperature before I mix it in with the um, what is this? Sweet and condensed milk. So let's give it a sniff. It smells good. I'm kind of excited. Wow. If this one's a hit, I'm going to be impressed. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. And I really think today will be the last day of this vlog that I've been putting together. Um, I need to get this one edited, put together and uploaded because I feel like it's get, probably getting way too long. Um, so I'm a little nervous today because we have our first like really bad weather day today. When you live in the country, I'm gonna grab my uh, Mason jar so I can start wiping it out. When you're in the country and like storms come through, I feel like they're so much more intense just because um, there's like not much around you to like break it up, slow it down. So when it's over like open land, the storm intensifies. Well, there's been bad storms coming through the United States since yesterday. And like yesterday it hit like Ohio and everything and now they're claiming that like it's coming to the east coast well they're not claiming it is um so i'm nervous because this is my first like tornado watch that we've been under since we've moved here obviously i'm home by myself with luca and the cats um and I just know that this area is known for bad weather. Um, my aunt lives near-ish here. She lives in like a couple towns over. And her new um, truck that she bought not too long ago got wrecked a couple months ago when a really bad random storm popped up. She didn't even have any warning for this storm. Um, so... We have warning today. We're under the watch. I'm just insanely nervous. And the thing about this house is we don't really have like a storm room. So our pantry has no windows. Obviously it's huge, but it is on an exterior wall. The only room we have, which is a loose definition, the only room we have that's an ex interior room is Kevin's closet, but it doesn't have doors, which might have been a fuck up on our part, not putting doors on the closets for the reasons for storms, but aesthetically, I just didn't want doors. So, I'm not a hundo percent sure what to do quite yet. Um, right now I have diapers and wipes in Kevin's closet for an emergency. I have never had to pack like a go bag or a tornado bag. So maybe I should put one of those together and keep it in Kevin's closet um, for that purpose. So the storms are supposed to hit around 9. It is 8.08 now. 
they're supposed to start at nine. So I need to get a move on. I need to eat breakfast so I can be a little prepared. Luke is having breakfast right now. I think his first nap is like 920. So that also makes me nervous that he's going to be down for his nap during this really bad weather. So I have kind of a decent amount of stuff on my list today. Where is my list? So today I've got meal plan and grocery list. I need to, gosh dang it, every time I open these ones, they explode. And I don't know why. I didn't shake this one this time. Why you do this? Um, so I've got wash my hair on my list for today, but I wasn't, I didn't know that we were gonna be under a tornado watch. And I may wash my hair like during Luca's second nap if I need to, but I think during the first nap, I'm just gonna be on high alert. I'm not gonna be able to relax. So make the coffee creamer, I did that. We have the, the um, flooring and the cabinet people are coming tomorrow. So I need to go around and blue tape all of our problem areas on the floor so I don't have to hunt for them when they're here. And I saw problem areas with our tile now too. So now we have issues with our tile. We have issues with our wood floor. We have issues with our cabinets. It's a fucking mess. Um, I ordered some diapers. So those are arriving some point today. And I think they're going to be arriving during the storm. So I'm hoping that, uh, who is it? That they're arriving through USPS, I think maybe, or FedEx, I'm not sure. But I'm hoping that if it is FedEx, they will bring it to my front door. They're super sweet, which is wild because I hate FedEx. Um, so, yeah, just a little list, not anything crazy. So anyhow, I'm going to, I just put my one can of sweetened condensed milk in here. I'm going to pour my stuff that I just made on the stove, which was milk, brown sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. I'm gonna pour yeah, it's nice and cool. I'm gonna pour it in here. This made way more than they claimed. I'm also really hoping that it incorporates easy because right now it's just sitting very far apart from each other. Okay. So let's pop our lid on and do a shake. I'm very excited for this one. Maybe I should have incorporated this on the stove. I just did it, wasn't sure if I could heat up my sweet and condensed milk, but maybe I should have. Okay. This smells freaking delicious. I'm very excited for this one. So, yay. She's a little on the thicker side, I think because of all of the brown sugar that's in here, but I don't mind. All right, so I'm now going to pop this in the fridge. Make sure this is on nice and tight. And now I have cinnamon roll coffee creamer. This is my first like super fancy one that I've made. So I'm very excited. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do breakfast and then I'll probably update you guys when the storm's coming through. All right, at first I was like, I'm nervous. I don't wanna get a shower. I don't have time before the storm hits. I hustled. He went to bed a little bit early because he woke up at 6.15 this morning. He's been waking up now instead of 5 30 he's been sleeping from 7 to like 6 15 and then wakes up for the day um typically i go in there at 6 15 and feed him like give him a little bit of boob and then i lay him back down and see if he wants to go back down and then i come lay back down till seven typically he just hangs out in his crib talks plays and then it's seven we get up for the day but um 
yeah, he's been waking up at a little earlier than normal. So he's been going down a little earlier than normal for his nap. But it just started raining. Thunder has started and the lightning is starting. Um, I was able to get the front part of my hair done, which is pretty much all that I style now. Um, and I'm really digging my bangs lately. Like, they're still a little wild and wacky because they need to cool down. But I've really been enjoying how they're growing out. Um, so, anyhow, I think I'm going to work on our grocery list because we're going to need to pick that up this weekend. And um, work on like my meal plans for this coming week. Luca is up from his first nap and he did not take a full full first nap but I feel like the thunder is starting to kick up and that's kind of what woke him up so hopefully his second nap will be a little more bulkier than his normal second nap um I got meal planning done for next week I got our grocery list made and whew, that scared me a new tornado watch just came in and I thought it was a tornado warning and I was about to panic but um he woke up right before like the worst of it is about to hit so I don't have the means to go get my tripod right this second <clears throat> but I'm about to try my coffee for the first time with the new um, coffee creamer, the cinnamon roll one. So let's give her a let's give her a taste. Tastes like a damn cinnamon roll. Wow, it tastes like I'm eating a cinnamon roll with my coffee. This one feels like a special fancy drink from Starbucks, like especially especially. A special fancy hot drink from Starbucks. I'm shook. I may have lied <clears throat> yesterday and said that yesterday was the last day of the vlog. I'm so sorry. Today's the last day of the vlog. Um, but like today, maybe this morning is the last day of the vlog. Uh, so I literally have nothing to do today on my list, which is something extremely rare. Um, I just have to make our crock pot roast, uh, around 9 a.m., so in about an hour, but other than that, nothing. Um, I'm waiting around for the flooring of the cabinet people all day, so that's my job. So I figured when Luca goes down for his first nap, I will start the edit on this vlog, so sorry about that. It's been like a week, my bad, but I've kind of enjoyed it, and I may, I may switch to like a weekly schedule I don't know I don't know um so yeah okay that's my update so this roast <clears throat> was really easy I just took a three pound pork shoulder Boston butt roast and then one can of cream of chicken soup, one, cream, one can of cream of mushroom soup, one pack of onion soup mix, and a half a cup of water, mixed it together. And that's the gravy. So this recipe that I followed didn't call for it, but I did lay carrots and onions in the bottom under the roast, put the roast in, poured the gravy on top, and then I put some more carrots around it. That way we just have like a veg that's cooking in there with it. And then, oh, I added pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder to the um, the soup mixes because it didn't call for that, but like, how do you not add that? So anyhow, I added that and then poured it over the roast. It's going to go on low for eight hours and I'll update you how it is. So two, so far two trades have shown up, tile and um, 
our wood flooring. I'll have to tell you everything that they're telling me after. Um, but they're men and they're talking very loud. But so far, Luca has not even stirred. So he must be very, very sleepy. Thank goodness. But um, basically, the tile guy is going to fix the tile in Luca's bathroom. The tile that's in our master bathroom is going to have to be another work order that they come and fix because he said that he wasn't told that the master bathroom had an issue so he doesn't have the grout for that and then the floor guy said that he's going to do a filling on the floor instead of taking up the whole um board because if they cut the board out and then lay the board back in they're just going to glue it in so he said he'll fill it first like match our two little spots that are missing color match them and then if we have another issue, they'll come back and they'll fix the rest of the board. But he said that that's the easiest and best way to fix it. So we have two spots that are getting filled. He said that um, because of how our floor is laid, it's a floating floor. So it's going to bow when you walk on it. And he also said that mushy spots are normal. Because of the floor floating. So, anyhow, that is what I have learned. Um, oh, and the guy's also gonna fix our bathroom tile that's missing in our shower. So this tile never got put in, like all these other little tiles. So he's going to grout or fix that. So I'm on cat duty to make sure that they don't escape while these two guys are coming in and out. And I'm still waiting on cabinet people. I don't know if cabinet people will even come today, but our cabinets are kind of our biggest issue. So we'll see. Update on dinner. I made some white rice to go with mine, but for Kevin, I have mashed cauliflower to put his over. This is good. The flavor is there and it's what I wanted. <laughs> 